Let's finish up problem 6-2a then. And you'll notice that I completed the template. I did see that I had entered one formula incorrectly. I think I used a plus sign accidentally instead of the multiplication sign. So you may have to adjust that in yours if you were following along with what I had done in the first video. So what you should have is at the end of the quarter on March 31st, we have retained the oldest LIFO layer, the 7,500 units we started with at $75. And we have 3,750 units at $85. If you compare what we have here to what we did in problem one dash, um, or problem six dash one A, what you will see is that we have the same number of units. The units are not affected by this. We either sold the unit or we didn't. The question, the difference between the LIFO, FIFO, and, and weighted average cost methods is what we say those units are worth not the actual number of units. And so the number of units in ending inventory, the number of units that we sold all together are exactly the same. It's the value of those units that changes. So coming down here to question number two, we're asked to find the gross profit. Now I've already entered the total sales. You'll notice that number matches what we did in problem 1A. Um, and so our cost of goods sold here, oh, and the, it says to enter it as a negative value. So let me do that. There we go. And to find our gross profit, we simply add those together since we're showing the cost of goods sold as a negative. And there is a red asterisk there, but that is actually a mistake in the template. This is the correct gross profit. So the gross profit is the total sales minus the cost of goods sold. And occasionally there are errors in these templates. So I'm going to ignore that red asterisk. If you are using these errors for these templates for additional practice, I would encourage you to, once you check your work like I just did, make sure um, that you agree that your answer is correct and then just ignore their asterisk because sometimes the templates are not perfect. And finally, our ending inventory cost, 881,250. And that completes our problem 6-2A using the LIFO valuation method and the perpetual inventory system.